Peloton put out this bike ad. There is nothing wrong with this bicycle ad. It trends in on Twitter. People apparently were very angry at this ad. I'm going to play the ad and then explain why people were angry. And then I'm going to explain why there's nothing wrong with the ad because you have to, honestly, you have to have been hit on the head as a child repeatedly in order to spot the problem with this ad. Now. A Peloton? Give it up for our first time riding. All right, first ride. I'm a little nervous, but excited. Let's do this. Five days in a row. You surprised? I am. 6 a.m. Yay. Rising with the sun. That was totally worth it. Let's go, Grace of Austin. 50 rides. She just said my name. A year ago, I didn't realize how much this would change me. Thank you. This holiday, give the gift of Peloton. Okay, so do you see anything wrong with that ad? If you, if you can't spot what's wrong with that ad, it's because you're a member of the patriarchy, you bastard. Okay, here's what's wrong with the ad, according to the left. Seriously, what's wrong with the ad is that the ad is sexist. Don't you see? The husband never should have given his wife a Peloton because he was saying she was fat. She was fat. That's what he was doing. He wanted her to be sexier. And so he gave her a Peloton bite, right? That, that's re- really, this is what people are saying online. I'm not kidding. It, it, there's an article in the Washington Post called, quote, this Peloton ad is a dystopian fitness inspo hellscape. Hellscape! Okay, the entire ad is just a woman climbing on a bike and then taking this video so she can th- say thanks to her husband after a year because the Peloton's an expensive gift and talking about how it's changed her life. You know, exercise can actually make your life better. I know, the breaking news, exercise can make you feel better even if you're already in good shape. It releases endorphins. It makes your life healthier. All of these things. But apparently the only reason he wanted to give his very skinny, very attractive and fit wife already a Peloton is because she was fat. Because she was a fat so. Because he's a sexist and he wants to have sex with a beautiful wife as opposed to having sex with a slightly less beautiful wife. She probably lost like six ounces over the course of that ad. And those six ounces, that's what he was after. He wanted those six ounces gone. This is, I'm not kidding. This is what people are saying. That it's a, this, this ad went nuts. People went crazy. Brittany Shamus writing for the Washington Post. The woman wears an eerie expression as she climbs onto her new Peloton for the first time. She's sort of smiling, sort of grimacing. She looks like she might burst into tears. I'm a little bit nervous, but excited, she says, not at all convincingly at the start of the pricey stationary bicycle company's new commercial. It was a look that spawned a thousand Twitter jokes to some, the young mother who spends the majority of her 30 second ad toiling away on the bike after her husband gives it to her for Christmas, looked like a hostage. Okay, first of all, I have a wife who does not particularly love exercising. And every time she starts to exercise, she gives me that same look and then she's happy afterward. So I totally sympathize with this ad. Seriously, like she, it, it's, it's hard to get started. It, it's, it's hard to get started exercising. It is. But it's not because the woman is being pressured into riding a Peloton bike. She's not being tortured by her husband. This is ridiculous. Okay, comedian Eva Victor exclaimed in a widely shared parody video, my husband got me a Peloton for Christmas. Nothing weird about that. Thank you. You get me. Okay, again, I have considered getting my wife a Peloton. You know why? Because she said that maybe she'd be interested in a Peloton because it doesn't just, I mean, like I don't mean to do an ad for Peloton here, but it's kind of cool. Right? You got the stationary bike and then you got the actual like live sessions going on. You have to be part, basically part of a fitness class live every day. It's a pretty neat thing. I've considered getting a Peloton and my wife has talked to me about wanting one. So is this so terrible? The company stock tumbled Tuesday by 9% on backlash from this dumb, stupid controversy. The ad made its debut last month on YouTube, where the comments are turned off. The ad carried an innocuous title, The Gift That Gives Back. But to many watching, the star of the commercial didn't seem to want it at all. After the Peloton is foisted upon her. Because I, do you remember the part of the ad where the husband comes in and he actually chains her to the bike? And he says, you are going to bike, woman, you are going to bike until that ass looks better. You're going to bike until that ass comes right off. You remember that part of the ad? I don't, because it's not in the ad, because that's crazy. But apparently, according to the media and according to idiots on Twitter, that is an integral part of the ad. Apparently, at the, at the end, in a twist some found to be a little too Black Mirror, she plays the montage of grueling workouts for her husband the next Christmas, turning to him to watch his reaction. The Peloton looms in the background. It was spousal abuse, viewers cried. It was sexism, a descent into wellness hell, society's nightmare before Christmas. Vice said she would rather be anywhere in the world than here, in her glacial home with the husband she loathes, putting on this sick pantomime of wellness and marital bliss. She'd even rather be back on the dreaded Peloton. <laughs> Okay, the whole thing is so stupid. It's so stupid. There is nothing wrong with the ad. There's just something wrong with you. There's just something wrong with you. If you watch that and what you got out of that is what a horrible husband who got his wife a twenty uh, a two thousand dollar bicycle so that she can exercise when she sees fit, and then she thanked him for it. What a horrible life she leads. If that's what you got out of that, it's because you're an idiot, an idiot, and you're woke. 
social justice warrior garbage is nonsense. And by the way, if, if my wife suggested that she wanted to be healthier and so I got her a Peloton bike, there's nothing wrong with that. And by the way, if my wife were dramatically overweight, which she is not, and I said to her, you know, honey, it would be more healthy if you lost some weight. That's not me being a bad husband. If she said the same thing to me, that's not her being a bad wife. Being in a marriage means communication about issues. Yes, including your health and wellness. There's nothing wrong with any of this. But the fact that it is now considered sexist to get your wife a pretty nice bike for Christmas, how dare he? He's the real villain of the piece. He's like this Hitlerian figure looming. Because just like Hitler, he gave somebody a bike. You know who liked bicycles? Hitler. Let me tell you something about sexism. Let me tell you something about sexism. Sexism looms in giving women bicycles. I know, this is Harvey Weinstein's chief tactic. When he was out there victimizing women, the first thing he did is he sent them a Peloton. He sent them a Peloton, and then he tried to rape them. That was the prelude right there to rape culture. That was hashtag me too, what we watched right there. You're all nuts. You're all crazy. There's nothing wrong with the ad. If you think there is, it's because you're dumb. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.